Yo yo YouTubers, Warframers. Welcome to another episode of Warframe Tutorials. Um, long story short, ribbons are very good for enhancing your gunplay. Why I'm saying this, I see that a lot of people have to figure out what are ribbons, and after they figure out, they start using it. So, might as well make a quick tutorial on it. Uh, for returning players or for new players to Warframe, use Riven mods, especially use it on the <coughs> on your favorite weapons. I'm not saying oh go for uh, go for it on all the weapons, but in general, Riven's can really enhance your gun play. So, and also the knowledge about the game because you really know where you want to roll it for. What is rolling? Come back later on it. Uh, first of all, Riven mods. What are Riven mods? Let's take a random Riven mod. Um, Nice, nice fat one. Mm, which one should I start with? Da, 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 da. Let me sort of my name. What I'm gonna check. Mm, it's a good example of a high river mods. Mm, as you can see, I have a few river mods. Um, where to get them, river mods? Uh, we're gonna handle uh, how we're gonna roll the Guva mods, low position. Disposition, high disposition, and we're gonna talk about uh, obviously uh, which ones you want to get and which ones you could spare. Um, so river mods. So just gonna select one. Um, select the optical one. I'll just go from the weapon menu so you can see the outcome right away. So my optical one. Um, as you can see for the this Opticore, it's the Opticore Kriti Satikak. It has 135% extra puncture, 105% extra multi-shot and 168% critical chance. Minus 40% against damage to corpus, but hey. Um, without the river mod, you can see my status will drastically change. There's a lot less crit, a lot less status, a lot less puncture. And yeah, you're gonna see it, it actually cut it in half. So it's not <laughs> it's not really something uh, to underestimate how much a river mod can do. Again, you can use different um, river mods for different builds. I think Opticore is a good example because um, I got multiple Opticore ones. But let me uh, stay uh, with a slow pace. First, river mods. On the left button, you see it's master rank 12. It means you need to be master rank 12 to equip this mod. On the right, you see the cycle section. It means it's 31 times rolled. Rolling will change the status on the mod. Not the weapon, not the master rank, not the polarity, but it will change the status. I would just take one mod to give an example. Um, which one I want to roll? Maybe I like to roll this one a little bit more. I want a critical chance, but that the multi shot is really nice, but the reload speed is not nice. Or rather, I would have critical damage. Um, it starts with 900 and it grows exponentially till 10 rolls. After 10 rolls, it's 3500 and it stays 3500. Let's roll it once. You need Kuva. Is this better? No. So I keep this one. Stay. Let's roll it again. No. No. And in the sufficient Kuva. So as you could see, I rolled it three times, four times total or something. And I just spent 10,000 Kuva. Um, as you can see, the mod did not change because I kept the roll. But if you change the roll, it will stay there. Um, how to get the Kuva? A little step to the mission. Kuva is farmed by doing uh, Kuva runs. Um, maybe on the end of the video, just depending on how much time it will take, um, I'll do a quick Kuva run as well. How to find the Kuva? The Kuva Fortress is looking for the Kuva. So close by uh, the Kuva Fortress, there is a planet with Kuva. It's not on Lua, so Earth. 
There's two uh, kind of Kuva missions, the Siphons. This will generally give you 600, 1200 with boosters, uh, resource booster. And um, the Kuva Flood, as you can see the enemies, the high level enemies, respect uh, respectively give you uh, 1200 um, up to uh, like uh, 2500 uh, with boosters. So, um, definitely want to use a resource booster uh, if you want to, if you're being Kuva farming, I mean, it just saves you the half of the time. It's definitely worth it. Um, if, once you finish all the missions, look for the other planet where there is the missions. Not here, not here, then it should be Eris. Yeah. We're gonna do a quick mission uh, at the end of the tutorial. Because we're halfway there. But we're not done by explaining the mods. Let's go back to the mods. So what we know now, we covered so far, there's different kind of roles you can make. Um, and you really want to like, how would you say, enhance the build you already have. Quick break, I'll take a different weapon. Uh, stay on the weapon, maybe a better example. But as you can see, I have different role of, roles of it. <coughs> this one has a high, high status uh, damage weapon. Uh, status uh, damage. Well, status damage, uh, 55,000. It's uh, uh, 45,000. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, not bad. Um, but for example, my speed build, where there's a speed, uh, speed critical, uh, plus critical damage, plus speed. It's really nice because, yes, it has low base damage. It's only 15,000 compared to the, what, 38, 40,000 on the, on the other river mods. But there again, the critical multiplier is seven times, which is pretty hefty. And the speed you can see is up to a 3, 0, 0.03 uh, fire rate. It's actually meaning I'm more than three times faster than normally um, charging it. Make it yeah, pretty easy to shoot. Like, doof, doof, doof. And it actually has the um, critical uh, uh, critical damage, so it actually does quite quite nice damage. So as you can see, different role, uh, different. Um, what is a good role? Yeah, the good role if it if it's enhancing your build. But there again, you have good roles. They are generally more wanted. For example, on an opticore, a good role will be critical damage, critical chance, multi shot, puncture, damage. Um, so so that that's like the positive ones. On this mod, you would say, oh, you have 90, uh, 43 minus corpus damage, but the minus gives actually the pluses a higher uh, top, sort of say. Uh, if you look at the left, the Riven disposition, it's um, like here on the left, Riven, <coughs> Riven disposition, it's 4 out of 5, so it's quite strong. Strong Riven dis disposition gives you high percentage anyway. Minus percentage on your mod give even more uh, beneficial stand uh, chance as well of status as well. What is high? What is low? If you look at the master rank, the master rank is um, quite high. Higher master rank mods has usually a higher riven disposition. But when it's a high master rank, um, let me put it like this. We should go for a little bit uh, more obvious mods. Usually weaker weapons have higher mastery ranks, so you need to be a higher mastery rank. You would say, huh, does it make sense? Yes, because on popular weapons, um, they have a lower mastery rank. Uh, let's look for, um, how would you say? Weapons who are indeed powerful already, they have low mastery rank. But they, um, um, how would you say? The, the, the less popular ones, for example, um, you would say, why does a Dracoon has a low uh, master rank? Recently, the Dracoon has been buffed. So basically, it's already a good weapon. So it doesn't need that much high uh, disposition on it. Well, if you look at weapons with a higher master rank, they are less popular weapons. And uh, they will actually have higher percentages as well. Just showing you a few mods. Can I sort them a master rank actually? No. <laughs> That's too bad. Um, actually didn't try it. So as you can see there's a lot of different uh, variations where you want to go for and really keep rolling until you got the role you want. 
um, how to get the river mods. There's three ways. Um, the first way, and which this is the way virtually nobody knows, if you complete a mission and you bought the Warframe or on, so let's say um, on the Octavia or on the Harrow or on the um, what was the other one, the uh, the Gara. If you buy the frame before you do the mission, you get actually a Riven mod. So that's actually one of the first ways completing the um, the first the last uh, Kuva mission or to how do you say the um, I cannot remember the name quite quite now. Let me check it. By finishing up the quest, you get one Riven mod as well. You unlock the Kuva fortress. I don't know what the name of the quest is. Quite some time ago. Nom 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 nom. What's the second dream? It's the war within. I think it's the war within because you unlock the dude as well. Um, we're gonna Kuva farm in a second, so you're gonna see uh, why you're gonna need a dude. I mean, dude is here for us a couple reasons, but uh, initially, uh, one of the first actions was to ex actually kill the um, to kill to get the Kuva. Um, am I forgetting something before we go on the Kuva farm? Um, oh, yeah. Um, that's one way to get them, but that's only you get like four or five river mods out of the game if you play it like that. Uh, the second one you get them is the obvious reason um, of the main uh, how do you say it? the main source of, of river mods you can get from the sorties. The sortie mission it's a reward uh, from the sortie mission. So um, wait, scroll to it. Sortie mission, and you can see. You can get a river mod. Um, last time I got 6,000 Kuva, so I was okay with it. Um, and the third way, and the most maybe the obvious way, is to buy and sell them. Um, the more popular mods will sell a lot higher, from aiming from like 50 up to like 500 plat. But here is where it gets interesting. A popular mod with a rare roll will sell, for example, a fun a thousand up to two or three thousand platinum. Um, the Opticore is a good example. Um, I got offered for this a thousand. I said no. Why not? Um, because it's a very rare role. Is it the role I actually want? No, because I would rather change the critical damage for a critical chance for critical damage than that. There would have been a mod I could easily sell for three thousand platinum. This mod I could sell for one and a half, maybe two. But I'll keep it until I got something better. Um, for example, on the re on the Zenith Star, I mean the range is nice, but um, if you got even more range, then yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, obviously, um, you really got to know your weapon to know which Riven mod you want to choose, because you really know uh, you really want to know which uh, stats you want to enhance. So now for a quick Kuva farm. If anything comes up, what I forgot to tell, then I'll explain it as well. So the Kuva Fortress is here. We're gonna do a flood. Uh, sabotage. Yes, Hello. you do. There's a time limited mission alert available. Check navigation. Do I recommend doing this solo? Yes, if you're Wukong in any other frame, no. Um, but you see it inside the mission. I rather put this in the video as well because knowing how to Kuva farm is like half the work as well because you want to really get that role you want. Got a little bit of black screen but see if it passes through. A little bit buggy since the update but give it some time. And if you're now like, hmm, I got a friend who doesn't know what Kuva is or what Rivens are, instead of you explaining it, you could show this video as well. That's the whole reason why I put it down. I mean, I could explain it, but rather show it. You are here to stop them. 
find the toxin mixer. My intel suggests oh, the key is the one, one for unlocking a ribbon. Um, if you get a ribbon, it's unlocked. Yeah, it's good that I uh, covered this part. Um, it's veiled. You want to unveil it, so see what's in it. It's usually there is like assignment to do, and how to do the assignment is really you got to deduct what you should be taking in in ways of like which frame or which uh, loadout could benefit unlocking this mod. Example, you got to make ten headshots while being in the air in one go. I take a Loki on a defense, disarm them, they're all around the pot. I put Potagium, which increase my um, aim glide uh, time. I go in the air, I shoot it with a high fire weapon on, the, on their heads. And yeah, it's pretty easy done. But if you don't think about how to unlock it and you just generally try it in the mission, it's, it's sometimes it's nearly impossible. Um, on the Kuva Floods you have to look for the Kuva Siphons, where they are, on the Kuva missions. They did not appear yet, so I rather uh, advise you to do the mission. And if you did not find it while you're doing the mission, then you gotta look for it. But as you could see here, what is that thing? Blah, 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 blah. So it's, I think this is one of the most ridiculous characters in the game, but... Yeah, that's my say. You want to catch the Kuva with the transference, obviously uh, you gotta unlock the transference to uh, actually uh, use it in mission. You can use your amps to shoot the Kuva as well, the Kuvas are like red clouds, you can hear it. Oh. And I shot the Kuva. These braids will go up when the, when the Kuva is present and you can hear the Kuva coming. So, or visual or audio, you can see where it's coming from. You gotta shoot it, or you gotta dash to it. There's not many fat guys, normally there's a lot of guys uh, protecting it, but I guess because I'm on my own, it's, uh, it's a little bit... Oh, let me jump to it. No, protect the siphon! can hear it. It's one fat guy downstairs, but I don't want to fight it. Let me just fight it to show you how to kill them. Are they? Uh -huh. These guys cannot be attacked unless you um, weaken them. Basically, take off their armor. Okay. Rather just dash through it. Um. Where's the fat guy? Hello? On the less uh, proper spot they are like everywhere. I'm gonna let this Kuva go because I want to show you how to kill this fat guy. As you can see uh, you cannot damage it. First you want to use the R1. He sits down and then you want to dash through him. You hear a clicking, his armor is dropped off, and now he's vulnerable for <coughs> like what? 10 seconds. Now he's dead. That was it. Let's not make the video any longer. My siphon! I can't believe how useless you all are! I should have activated it already. I'm gonna take you out of the mission because I want to see, I want to show the unveiled mod. So I just want to cover a few, just to give you a few examples. I think that's a good ending of the video as well. You're making video here, guys. Come on, man. Give me a break.
As you can see with the Wukong it's, it's fairly easy. Bring some good weapons. It does help though. You just destroyed a massive batch of Grenier toxin. Good work. Get to extraction. Some cover missions are hard, some are easier, but um, yeah, sabotage are the easier ones. Capture can be easy, but sometimes the Kuva Siren is like hidden in the map and you have to look around the whole map before you actually activated it. As you can see, nearly 2500. Sorry for the bit long tutorial, I didn't plan to bring it along, but I'd rather include the whole uh, Kuva part. For anyone who's still watching, good job man, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching as well. Just cover quickly the unveiled part and that's about it, I guess. Uh, sorry for the low frame rate by the way, I um, normally have it on 60 FPS but um, the YouTube server is a little bit buggy and give um, give an error a couple of times so I had to put it down a little bit. Hopefully my next video is uh, up to par again. Um, uh, two more things, you have to buy the uh, Riven capacity as well, you have to um, uh, you have to basically buy the slots. Uh, how to buy it, I'll do it in the end of the video. Um, <coughs> complete a survival mission with level 30 or higher enemies without killing anyone with a bleeding dragon uh, key equipped. So, I want to put this mod on a pistol. I want to equip a bleeding dragon key and Do a survival and don't get any, don't make any damage. <coughs> what you basically do is you take a Wukong or Loki or whatsoever, and you're just gonna take the life supports for five minutes. You will make it, um, and then go out. That's it. At the end of the mission, if you uh, succeeded without uh, killing any enemies, um, it will be like unrolled, and you actually um, get the mod. It's random, but it's pistol one. Which one? You don't know. Um, synthesizes Samira's target without using traps or abilities while having a Hoblet Dragon key on. Ooh. So you put a Hoblet Dragon key on, you take a Wukong, and when you're close to the target, you go invisible, scan him. Done. So there's, there's many ways, but you have to think like, okay, what to do? Get a killing blow on six sentience while invisible. Mm, invisible, so um, I could throw out a Zenistar and go in Wukong or um, I could go Loki and just shoot the hell of them so it's, just think about what you should do make sure you equip the mod before going in a mission I, I would usually recommend to do it private on a private mission so you have no one interfering but you can also actually have your friends helping you as well keep that in mind uh, last but not least where to buy the slots um, Obviously in the market, I should type in yeah, Riven. Riven mod slots. And there you can buy them, three each. Uh, I cannot buy them because I'm capped out. Quite expensive, but selling Riven mods will get you full mods to get more mods to get more mods. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.